In this video, I'm going to compare Q-Trade to um, Quest Trade. So which one would be the best for you? So I found this website here where I could choose it, where we can compare these two brokers. Which one is the best general? I'm going to cover the, uh, the fees, like how easy it is to use. You can sign up and all that kind of things. Like all the products they have, like ETFs, bonds, stocks and stuff like that. So if we start off with the overall pros and cons here on Qtrade and both Quest Trade, Quest, Quest Trade, I'm sorry, the fees are low. On both of them, you're not going to make a mistake if you want to go for the lowest fees possible. Also on Qtrade, it's easy to set up your account. Like it's, I like the simplicity of Qtrade. Like it's very easy. Like someone who isn't very tech savvy can still easily understand everything it doesn't take a long time for them to accept your account and it's super easy to use however you can only trade in the canadian u.s markets so you can do worldwide no asian european or australian whatever you want to call uh, there's only canadian u.s markets covered you can't use a credit card or e-wallets which is a shame like a lot of brokers do accept credit cards and stuff like that but qtrade doesn't um, here we have on quest rate limited account based currencies only have like USD a Canadian dollar and you have a high withdrawal fee if you don't live in a, in the in Canada and it takes a lot of a long time for quest rate to prove your account if you don't live in Canada so yeah both of these are mainly targeted for Canada however you can use it outside of it and if you live in Canada right now, I would definitely go for one of these if you want to invest. So which one could be the best? Yeah, I personally think Quest Trade is a little bit better, but I'm going to cover everything here. So the fees you can see, Q Trade is a little bit better, like 3.9 over 3.0. Both not the best, but not yeah, it's it's decent. Here we have an inactivity fee on Q Trade. What means if you're inactive, if you want to go for long term, let's say five or ten years, and you don't log in every, let's say every month, you're gonna pay an inactivity fee if you don't log in every month, every week, every year. And on Quest Trade, you don't have that. All the fees are overall quite low, easy to use, and yeah, it's it's decent. Yeah, it's good. And the account opening, yeah, Q Trade is better than Quest Trade. However. You can still, especially if you live in Canada, it's still very fast and easy to do. The positive withdrawal, yeah, they're both not great. Some other brokers may be a little bit different, but especially if you go for long term, you don't do a lot of withdrawals in positive, just bigger um, yeah, amounts. It's not a problem. We can dive into this. Here you can see, yeah, credit card not available, electronics not accepted. And here we have slow withdrawal fees over three days if you want to send it to your bank account it's going to cost over three days days which is well, which is a shame high fees for wide withdrawals as i said and non visa debit cards not available however you can use a normal debit card so if you see all of these things here quest rate is better than qtrade web trading platform yes quest rate is just easier it's better to you to to see where everything is, where you have to be to do things, and it's easier to understand. Mobile trading platform, Quest Trade is, is top notch. It's like the best of the best for the mobile trading platform. Super easy to use, very nice app. Desktop trading platform, Qtrade doesn't even have it. And on Quest Trade, it's still over four out of five. Here we have some other things. Research, yeah, we can dive into it. It's very limited on Qtrade and quite good on Quest Trade. And the customer service on Qtrade is not good. However, on Quest Trade, it is decent. 4.5 is really, really good. If you need a lot of help, you don't think you can do a lot of things on yourself, definitely go for Quest Trade. So overall, I think Quest Trade is a little bit better than Qtrade. If you think Qtrade is better, you're not going to make a mistake on it. They're both great, big, pro big, um, uh, companies so you're not going to make a mistake if this video helped you out please leave a like please subscribe and see you next time have a good day